Coming right up, the Bulls taking on the Heat for the Chicago Bulls. Hello and welcome. Allie, it's all yours. Hey. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Makes a good point. Here we go. And the Bulls start out with the ball. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Patrick Williams. Then it's Lonzo Ball. And then it's Kobe White. And it's DeRozan in at the three. Here's Williams. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Well, Vucevic has finished a couple times in the top ten of offensive boards, in part because of his feel for the game. Lowry with it. Guarded now by Williams. And Tucker gets it to go. And Grant, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Something you'd know a little bit about. Well, you know, B.A., in my younger days, I might have caught a few guys, but maybe we'll see a few highlights tonight, too. White, the pass to DeRozan. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Good heads up basketball from Kobe. Spots a wide open shooter and gets it to him. And it's Lowry penetrating. Count it. Good. Here's Ball. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. To the paint. Here's Vucevic. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Vucevic has got his second basket of the night. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. For three, Oladipo. The shot no good. And Chicago will go the other way with it. On the wing, DeRozan. Butler covering. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. The former number two overall pick in 2013, Oladipo gives you production, but he also plays with a bit of an edge. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Ball. I love Kyle Lowry's commitment at the defensive end of the floor. He's a hard-nosed player. Butler against DeRozan. Here's Tucker. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Tucker's got six. And no doubt when he's rolling, Oladipo strikes fear in the hearts of the opponents. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he's merciless on the tack. He plays with so much heart and passion. Not much fun to play against, but he's exciting to watch. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. I love that about Jimmy Butler. Sees a little bit of daylight, takes it, and slams it to the middle. And the basket by DeRozan. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. For Chicago, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Ball finds White. Driving inside. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Lowry into the lane and is blocked. When you mix Ball's length with his timing, the result is a quality defensive play. White with it. Picked up by Tucker. Here's Williams. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Bam out of Ohio. First heading play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Patrick Williams, he's a great defender right out of the gate. He knows right where to go and how to position himself. And for Williams in his defense, he plays far beyond his age, Smitty. You know, that innate understanding is hard to teach, B.A. It's what made this team go after him. Could be a special defender for years. Back to Oladipo. Five on the clock. And the Heat, another three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Caruso. He's guarded by Hero. Outside Jones. Shot 
from 12. It's hauled in by the Heat. They beat the Bulls during their last encounter in Chicago. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. They knew that the arena would be rocking, and if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Pass to Bradley. Oladipo against Ball. Back to Bradley. On the wing, Jones. Outside, Williams. There's Ball with a three. That shot missing. And Miami will go the other way with it. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. For three, Oladipo sends it home from three-point land. Oladipo's got nine. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Ball. And again, Chicago, no good. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. And his first shot of the game, no good. Victor Oladipo, he's feeling it tonight. And has been the driving force for the Miami Heat. He's found his range, hitting three triples in the quarter. More NBA on... All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and... And one of the league's best at drawing charges. Kyle Lowry explains what a difference that play makes. It's a real life momentum. You know, it really boosts myself, my team, and it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play. Boy, Grant, he's as tough as they come, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he grew up in Philly, idolizing Allen Iverson. Lowry's tenacity and willingness to put his body on the line actually reminiscent of Boy, Iverson's. Nikola Vucevic. That's his Great to have you with us. Ball. Second quarter of First basketball. This game has not exactly been now neck and neck, line. but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Heat. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist. At the forward slots, Butler and Tucker. Lowry and Hero teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Turner in at center. That's the group in the game for the Heat. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, the Heat culture is all about work. And this roster is littered with overachievers. Jimmy Butler said, quote, the Miami Heat look for those diamonds in the rough. Players that are hungry. Players that have some dog in them and play for one another. These guys do what it takes to be in the league for a while. Brian? Boy, they compete, right, Allie? Thanks for that. On the wing, DeRozan. Here's Caruso. The rebound by Lowry. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Back to Hero. There's the triple. Pass to Turner. To the inside. It's stolen by Green. Here's Caruso. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Outside Tucker. The three ball. And it's cleared by Vucevic for Chicago. They've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought 100 pairs of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. He has around 5,000 pairs overall. He even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. White for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. They'll take on the Cavaliers at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse after this one. They're kicking off a four-game road trip. Puts up a three. Connects from downtown. Tucker's got 12. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Adebayo's checked in for Miami. And a change for the Bulls. Bradley, he's checked in for Vucevic. Pass to Bradley. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Butler with a steal. Hero on the wing. Back to Lowry from behind the arc. And again, Miami with a triple. <laughs> I just love the ball. 
DeRozan against Butler. Tries to snap the cold streak. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Here's Adebayo. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Oh Butler's got three assists tonight. From They're Jimmy really Butler. dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Pass to Turner. Lowry outside. Hero on the wing. Outside for Butler. Turner with it. Fires the three. Butler can't get it to go. Out of bio against DeRozan. Takes one from 10 feet. And again, no good by Chicago. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Pass to Green. Back to DeRozan. Will it go? He can't hit that time. And it's Miami the other way. Down low. It's stolen by Green. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Caruso. White against Butler. Six to shoot. Back to Caruso. Jacks up a three. Fires in the triple. Caruso. Caruso's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations. But it's worth it. And so it's the Miami Heat sitting on a comfortable 21-point lead at the end of the quarter. A Welcome to the half, as we first take a quick glance at the injury report from around the league. And injuries, fellas, there's no way around it. They're really the pits, aren't they? Well, nobody likes injuries, Ernie. They, I mean, they're not well regarded. Oh, remember the guy? And now let's talk about that first half. Everything falling into place. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boy, one of the stories here, P.J. Tucker getting it done today. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And for Chicago, let's take a look. Ball is out there with Kobe White. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. And it's Williams in at the power forward position. Well, it's hard to talk about Lowry without mentioning his fantastic defense. Quick and physical with ball handlers. Tough to back down in the post. And just brings the effort on every play. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. The drive by Butler. Here's Oladipo. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Butler's got four assists in the game. Great floor awareness Jimmy there Butler. by Jimmy Butler. Sensing one of his guys is open and gets it to him. Williams, a screen on Lowry. Here's Ball. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. The confidence of Jimmy. Feels like he can drive to the rim whenever he wants. Pass to DeRozan. Tries the spin move. Takes it inside. And the DeMar dunk by DeRozan. DeRozan. <laughs> There's a move for you. Wow, just showed great creativity on his way to the bucket. Now here's Tucker. And here's Adebayo. Covered by Vucevic. 
And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, Zach Levine with his first All-Star selection in 2021, and then the Bulls added a second All-Star, Nikola Vucevic, at the trade deadline. Levine said, we got another big-time player here. Guys, with this combination, they have a chance to be special. Well, they're putting some pieces together, Allie. Thanks for that. Oladipo, the pass to Lowry. Here's Butler. Back to Lowry. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Out of Io. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got four rebounds now. And it's ball off the drive. Here's White. Pass to Vucevic. Second shot opportunity. And the basket is good. Vucevic has got six. The sure stroke of Vucevic when he added that three-point shot in his sixth season. He has loads of trust in his jumper. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And Kyle Lowry had a ton of suitors in free agency. And many teams felt he could be the player to put them over the top. But ultimately, he chose the Heat because they had recently gone to the finals. And I'll tell you what, it seems like a great fit overall. Jones, he's checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for White. Williams passes to Ball. On the wing, Jones. Buries it from three. Jones, Jones has gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Martin. Back to Lowry. Stolen by Ball. Stolen by Lowry. Back to Deadman. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Just five to shoot. Oladipo left side. And stolen by Caruso. On the wing, Jones. And out of bounds, the Heat will take it. The league is already buzzing about this year's three-point contest. So let's have a look at the players likely to make an appearance. The three-point contest only becomes more competitive every year as long-range shooting continues to be a coveted talent in the league. But these guys are in a league all their own. Well, you look at Ball. He's going to need to move up this list big time to be part of the three-point contest. But he's got a shot. Maybe. Especially if he can get hot from beyond the arc. And he certainly has the ability to do so. And we'll keep you posted as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. But that's our current list for the three-point contest. It's going to be a fantastic competition. We've got an endless supply of shooters in this league, and that contest will be heated. And it's blocked by Deadman. The 7-4 wingspan of Deadman. Hard to get your shot over that. The shot by Oladipo, no good. For Chicago, they've gone four of eight in the third. Caruso. Oh, and Turner with a block. Vucevic gets the bucket. 46 seconds left in the third. Pass to Deadman. Now here's Turner, covered by Vucevic. Here's Martin. Just four to shoot. Knocked away. Stolen by Caruso. And now the Bulls in transition. And Williams punches it home. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Caruso. He's guarded by Lowry. Some room here for Williams. Again, the Bulls score. That's just a solid execution to get a wide open look. Here's Martin. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. And so it's Miami. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. They just can't. Fan, welcome. Your Miami and while we have a chance, Panthers. let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. 
Inside, it's Adebayo with Tucker playing the four. Hero and Butler will run out on the wings. And it's Oladipo in at the one. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Hero, no good. A challenging stretch here for Chicago. Ball right side. White against Hero. Outside White. Over out of bio. White can't hit. Well, what did Coach tell us? We wanted each guy to contest shots and rebound tonight. That's exactly what we just saw. Out of bio. Passes to Hero. Green against out of bio. Soft touch off the glass. And the Heat lead by 16. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Pass to Jones. Now ball. White on the wing. Inside. Denied by Adebayo. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Heat? Contested shots and block shots. From That's Jimmy been their Butler. bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Another area where they've done a great job tonight is forcing the issue on D and getting some steals. DeMar DeRozan's checked in for Green. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for the Miami Heat dancer. Now here's Jones. The D's right on him. On to the floor for the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan against Butler. Here's Bradley. Clock at six. The three from Ball. And again, no good by Chicago. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken. And the team is suffering the consequences. Two points. That one goes. Drawing so much attention. Oladipo rotates the ball to the open man. Butler against DeRozan. Bradley sets a screen. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Chicago, Chicago making some changes. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Bradley. Williams comes in for Jones. And it's Caruso in for ball. Alex Caruso. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Sad. And they want a second opinion on that call. The signal for the coach's challenge has been made. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart. The previous play is under One thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. To the left side wing. The Heat rebound. Vucevic with the steal. Two on one as they jump out on the break. White for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. White's got himself on the board with a three there. Kobe White doesn't need much time or space to get off that catch and shoot. Here's Tucker. Hero, the pass to Butler. Oladipo outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Adebayo. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Adebayo's got four points this quarter. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Heat.
Man, they were in a groove from long range tonight. Yeah, they were able to find space, and they were ready to let it fly the moment they saw an opening. And so hard work pays off with their 26th win of the year. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Jimmy Butler. Gotta respect the leadership he showed today. Made great reads and distributed the ball accordingly. And he's able to get it back. Oladipo on the wing. Pass to Butler. Hero outside. It's out of bio. High post. Outside Butler. Right wing. Here's Tucker. From outside. Off the mark. And here are the Bulls now. Trailing by 17. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. First team. The first one falls. Heat foul. Jimmy Butler, that's his... And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Martin. Hero on the wing. Into the lane. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. A wrinkle that Hero's been adding to his game. Feeding people off the dribble. Now at the line. Both good from the line that time. So it's Chicago now. 17-point game. Ball against Hero. Bradley sets a screen. Here's Ball. That one is off. So no problem for Miami as they get the win. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. <laughs> they were just dominant out there. We would like to thank all Well, now we have some time to check in with Ali LaForce. Ali. Please exit the building. Tyler, these Miami fans, they are so appreciative of the effort that you guys displayed tonight. Talk about what they mean to you. Yeah, we couldn't do it without uh, these amazing fans right here. So we appreciate you guys uh, continuing to support us. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill.